I want to bring in media industry veteran uh, Robert Rossiti. He's the former head of GE Capital's media coverage, uh, knows a lot about convergence and what is going on uh, in, the, uh, in the digital space now and how that affects me, uh, advertising. Thanks so much, Robert, for stopping by. Thank you for Hope having me. Hope you had me. a good holiday weekend. It's been great. <laughs> okay, so let's start with this news um, out from, uh, from Apple. And it all just sort of makes sense, right? They're calling the information they get from iTunes and now trying to sell ads uh, on the mobile platform. But it's not just about just, you know, it pops up uh, when you're using your phone, but it's really about putting it, embedding it in apps, right? Absolutely. The beauty of the mobile platform is the advertisers know who they are. And by knowing who they are, if you could target the ad better, you get dramatically better performance for your advertisement. And I think the other key thing is it's not about being tethered to your PC anymore. It's about unleashing them and, do, and extending the advertising platforms and new revenue models to new platforms. It's PC. It's mobile. It, it's all forms of advertising. But how do they know that this really works? <laughs> I, I think the idea is it really comes down to targeting advertising. There's a tremendous amount of research that really speaks to uh, improving the quality of advertising if they know who the individual is. For example, you know, giving an advertisement to someone who is in the market for cars and only, only at that time. Right. So, and by highly targeting those ads, uh, you could actually provide a, a better return on investment for the advertisement. It's a better value proposition for both. So in this space, because it's not just about you know, how much you know about the customer, but it's how many customers do you know, right? Absolutely. Um, so in this space, is Apple the one poised to profit most from this? Is it Google or who? <laughs> you know, it, it's very difficult to say who is going to profit the most. I think the, be the best, the, the people who will profit the most are the little people. Those innovative, uh, small, uh, those innovative people who produce content and connect with customers in new and different ways. So it's not necessarily about the large media companies. About but some why of those would they benefit? Why would because, the little people? Because talented people who could break new barriers with this new interactive medium could create a tremendous amount of value. And, and large media companies want that. For the most part, these media companies are focused on the traditional advertising revenues. Right. But when you step back, you see this convergence of technologies. It's more the convergence of social networks, mm -hmm. of video gaming, and, so, and uh, virtual worlds it's creating a new uh, ecosystem for for allowing people to generate new revenues. Virtual goods is a good example. Now, you, you spoke earlier about uh, video games and things like that. Right. Um, you know, think about it. People are paying real money for a virtual good in a social networking or a, a video game. Right. And it, that market is expected to increase dramatically over the next few years. Microsoft. But, would, uh, but then, how do you how how do you advertising why how do you advertising why how do you benefit from that? Those are indicators that help you define who your customer is. Okay. And there's a tremendous amount of information to determine who the recipient is, and based on that, you can better target your advertisements. And how big of a market are we talking Absolutely. about? Absolutely. Uh, you know, the, the, I've seen estimates anywhere in 2010 between one and two billion dollars for virtual for vir the virtual goods market. Uh, Microsoft is on track to make over 600 million dollars in virtual goods sales, as is Zynga. So you're looking at that's really the, the market. Okay. So on the other end, though, Robert, just before we leave you as a user how does this how will this look to you for advertising mm -hmm. you know, if you're on Zynga if you're on Facebook on Twitter and then on your I iPhone how does that all look to you I, I, I think what they're trying to do is they're trying to replicate the physical world so when you go somewhere there'll be a billboard behind uh, you, you'll see billboards you'll see shirts you'll see emblems you'll see advertisements everywhere it'll be it will be pervasive hmm. so what we know is the quote-unquote 30-second commercial right. will transform itself in new forms of advertising and people will be interacting with brands more so than just watching an ad. Right, just watching a commercial then. So the days of that are numbered, which might be a good thing. They're so annoying. Okay, Robert, thank you so much for joining us. I really appreciate it. Thank you for having nice me. Nice to see you again. Robert Rossini, the founder of Robert Capital Advisors.